Hello friends, this is Manav from Civil Center and welcome all of you back to our channel. So friends, today we'll show you how to like make a DWG file into DXF file for the Tecla. We'll import, we'll make the DXF file here when containing the column position and center line. And after that, we'll import it into Tecla. So as you can see, we have made uh, the center line. This file is in the imperial unit that is in feet and inches. Uh, we have every uh, thing is in the same layer that is zero layer and uh, we have made the uh, center line and column positioning of this particular plan as you can see if each and every uh, wall has been covered so that we can provide a beam uh, below it so as you can see uh, if anything is remaining we can just uh, cover that particular part like this so uh, you can do the final check whether all the you know uh, walls have been covered with the help of center lines and after that you can open a new file in this we'll just uh, make the particular file in your metric unit that is mm so we'll just click, uh, click on f7 this is a new you know a file here so we'll first of all uh, save this file in the folder which we want so this will do center line uh, dwg uh, this will do metric so this will be the dwg file i'm saving in autocad 2000 format as always and after that I'll just insert and check my units here I'll do UN enter and decimal with the position of 0.0, .0. and this unit will be in millimeters and and then click on OK and then I can also define some text size and uh, uh, by taking a scale of 100 I'll just do quickly because if I need to you know put some text here T100 I prefer Times New Roman as text style and 150 or text height and apply and then close quickly i'll set the dimensions as well i'll just go with new uh, d100 and then continue and then in the primary units decimal position of 0 0.0 and then in the fit i'll just choose this option text i'll go with d100 and align with dimension line symbols and arrows arrow size will do 150 and then ok and then set current for the leaders as well i'll do the settings quickly l100 and then continue and then i'll just go here and change the arrowhead size to 150 leader structure content and just keep this as t100 ok and set current so this quickly settings all the settings have been done uh, go to home and after that we'll as you can see here this particular uh, line here you check the dimension here is this is your nine inches so we we'll convert nine inches here so this is nine inches is approximately just turn on the ortho is as your uh, if you, one inch equals to 25.4 mm so if you do nine into uh, 25.4 it equals to 228.6 we'll do 228 0.6 mm click on escape and after that we'll just select this and select this copy ctrl plus c and ctrl plus v so we'll paste it here and after pasting it here we'll just uh, select this and click on align so a l enter first point first point second point second point press enter yes and after scaling this just delete it so this is uh, has been scaled so now what we'll do will for the final check select this from both ways and make this as zero and so this is in zero layer now what we can do put layer properties and define a new layer here we we'll call it as cl and uh, the color can be you know a bit different let's be blue okay and close this so i'll select all the center lines here so all the center lines have been selected now we'll make this a cl so let me see once again this will do go by layer so this these are the center lines which have been selected so all the center lines have been named here so after this press ctrl plus s to save this and after that we'll go dxf out this command we'll use to save the file in dxf format center line dxf 
metric so this is what we'll save and after saving this we'll open the tech last excel designer and let's see whether we can import the dxf file or not so we're going to the cluster excel designer and creating a new file and after that we'll go and create our construction levels here construction levels and we'll insert a level below uh, let's say we'll just do minus 1.2 the base the print level and we'll go uh, 3.2 meters here we'll go structural slab level 100 mm slab thickness so this is the g i'll go g plus 1 g plus 2 and then we'll click on ok after that we'll just go to the plinth level here as you can see in the structure window the levels have appeared here and we'll go to the plinth level and we'll import the dxf file the proper format so it is the centerline dxf metric i'll just open this and we'll check whether everything is okay first of all i'll import the centerline as the architectural grid and the unit will be in mm and yeah i'll just click on next it'll buy layer and we'll select all the boxes here and then click on finish so after that i'll also quickly go to import dxf once again and a central central line dxf metric and this time i want only the other portions so I'll click on finish i'll zoom in and after that as you can see my grids have been prepared so like this you can uh, define your grids now when i have the grids i have the column position and all uh, with me so after that we can proceed forward with the upcoming steps so that's all for today's video uh, if you are into our channel for the first time make sure to subscribe to our channel because there are lots of content related to civil engineering concepts and software also like the video it helps us to recognize in the youtube algorithm and also supports our team so that we can come up with more interesting videos for you every single day. Bye-bye. Have a good day.